is the one thing that you advise against religious people? It's actually quite simple. Some of them, they are emotional blackmailers. In the actual fact, these are people that you don't expect them to do certain things. There are certain standards that we look at them and we expect them to be perfect. That's the mentality. Of course, none is perfect. But one thing that, of course, the prophet peace be upon him has advised us when choosing a spouse to go in for those who have the gene. But one thing they are good at doing, some of them are good at doing, is emotional blackmail. And this is something that's out of conversation from the person's reaction. Sometimes you will feel it, you will see it before whatever. If it is something that you can compromise, it's fine. At, at least for the greater cause, if the, per, if the person is up to the standard and you feel like you can deal with those emotions, why not? It's fine. I'll just give one example. For instance, when the person is not treating you well, when you feel like I've had it up to here in this marriage and I want to leave, one common thing you might hear from them is, the prophet peace be upon him said, any woman who divorces a man will not smell gender. But the same person refused to tell you the part in which there is a valid reason for the divorce. Of course, no one will want to divorce for nothing. But if there is a valid reason for it and the person is dying in it, it's better for the person to leave. But they will use the gene, they will use habits to emotionally restrain you. This is one typical thing they do.